What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So this week we're going to check out an extension that allows you to randomly place components on faces within SketchUp. And before I get started, today's video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. I want to say a big thank you to my two newest supporters, Kiana Wong and Rufaro Mahanda. So Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So if you like what I'm doing on this channel, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. One of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So this week, my supporters voted, and the extension they selected is Compo Spray. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, Compo Spray. Plugin developer, Didier Burr. Tool cost, it's free. Where can you get it? You can download it from the Sketchication extension warehouse. Tool functions. This extension is designed to help you quickly add components to your models, like trees, rocks, basically anything that you might want to place randomly within your model. Um, this extension is designed to help you randomly scatter these objects. So this extension gives you many different ways to randomly place or spray components on faces within SketchUp. When looking at the menus, we're going to focus on the first option, which is spray for top down. The other option, spray perpendicular, um, only works occasionally. It's still marked as experimental, and so a lot of the time when you try to use it, it gives you an error message. So we're going to focus on the top down option. So this extension allows you to select up to eight components at once using drop downs, and then you can randomly place them on a face that you select. The first thing I want to note, and this is really important, is that there's a documentation file that gets installed in the plugin installation folder with instructions. I have not found a way to access it straight through the component menu, but if you go to the folder where this gets installed, you can open up the PDF file, and it's a very helpful PDF file. So when you're selecting components to place in your model, note that you can select the same component multiple times. So if I wanted a certain kind of tree, for example, to show up more often, I could select it more times in the list, meaning it's more likely to get randomly selected and placed in your model. So you're going to get two different kinds of spray options depending on if you have a face selected or not when you start the tool. So if you have a face selected, you get a series of options to place objects based on edges and faces. If you don't have a face selected, you'll get a series of options for points, lines, triangles, and other shapes. So the point, line, triangle, and other shape options allows you to set a custom location for your component spray based on the location you dictate. Note that this extension will drop these components on faces, meaning you can place objects on terrain and other faces that aren't flat with this extension. If you have a face or series of faces selected, you can spray objects randomly across the faces by selecting selected faces or along the vertices of the geometry using vertices of faces. The pressure percentage allows you to adjust how many objects are created. A higher pressure percentage will create more objects, and a lower percentage will create less objects. Note that the more objects you create, the longer this extension is going to take to run. You can also dictate the layer that these components are created on. So you could create a landscape layer or a heavy geometry layer and place these objects on that layer and then turn them off when you don't need them. That'll really help your performance within SketchUp. The altitude settings actually allow you to set components between different heights in your model. For example, I could use the extension to set objects only between certain elevations on my currently selected face. Slope is much like altitude, but it allows you to only place objects on faces that are at a certain slope. Scale allows you to randomize the sizes of your different components. There's also a series of other options below, allowing things like mirroring of objects, collision checking, object stacking, and more. Um, note that some of these, specifically the collision checking, will slow down your runtime significantly. So one other interesting thing to know is that this extension truly does act like it's spraying components downward. So this means that if you have geometry above your object that you're trying to spray on, you might get some interesting results. So in the case of this example, you'll notice that even though I select the face below this object above, 
objects are only placed where they're not blocked by that plane above. Leave a comment below and let me know what you'd use this extension for. I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.